two, three, four. I knew that I was different. And I didn't know why. When it came to blues, there was nobody like him. Before Eric, guitar playing in England had been very simple. Suddenly we heard something that was completely different. It's completely revolutionary. From the minute I woke up, I just played and played. We were recording with Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin. People started to idolize what he was doing. White America had never paid attention to blues. Thanks to Eric, a lot of doors was open. I thought it was the beginning. I didn't know it was the end. There was always a lot of cocaine, LSD, mescaline. I was full of hatred and anger. It got to be a point of wondering what's going to happen tomorrow night. It looked like he wanted to kill himself. I was in absolute denial about my alcoholism. Music saved me. I thought I had this dream, the perfect band, you know, the virtuoso. There was a way to turn this dreadful tragedy into something positive. There was always one man who was completely alone, and with his guitar versus the world. <laughs> <laughs>